Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you today? Hello, good evening. I'm fine, and you? Ah, excellent. Thanks for asking me. Hello, Edma. Hello, Carla. Juan. Alexandra. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, we missed you yesterday. <laughs> You couldn't be here in the class yesterday, Juan? Te yes, teacher, I have a problem in my work. Ah, okay, it's okay, don't worry, right? So yesterday we were talking about preposition of place. Do you remember some of them? First, we studied some city places. Algunos lugares en la ciudad and what we can do in those places. So let's see, for example, at a bank. What can we do at a bank? Do you remember that? What can we do at a bank? ¿Qué podemos hacer en un banco? Do you remember that? Chain money. Okay. You can cash, you can cash a check. Open account. You can open an account. Thank you, Kenya. And what about the supermarket? Pay what can you... Oh, pay bills. Yes, you can pay bills there. That's excellent. So what about the supermarket? What can you do at a supermarket? Buy the food. Oh, you can buy food. That's excellent. Buy food. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Byron. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thanks, teacher. So what can you do in the supermarket? You say buy food. What about a gasoline station? What about a gas station? What can you do in a gas station? You can buy gasoline. <laughs> you can buy gasoline. What more? What can you do there? You can buy snacks and drinks. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, you can buy some snacks and drinks there. That's very good. So let's see. Do you remember some preposition of play? We studied some of them yesterday. Which one do you remember? If I want to say, el banco está a la par del restaurante, how do you say that sentence in English? The bank across next from, to. Uh, no, next to. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, thank you. Next to, that is the right preposition. The bank is next to the restaurant. Y si el banco está en medio del restaurante y el department store? The bank between the, resta the restaurant and... <laughs> department store. Department store. Between. Okay, thank you. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Thank you. Y como digo, el, el café está atrás de la librería. How do you say that in English? Behind, behind. behind. Library. Off behind at the library. The library. Okay. The coffee shop is behind the library or the bookstore. Library or bookstore. ¿Cuál de las dos significa librería? Bookstore. Ah, okay. Bookstore. What is library? Library is. Biblioteca. Library es la librería donde vamos y prestamos los libros, dijo, y bookstore donde los, eh, no los cobran. Okay. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo no? Los compramos. Los compramos, yes, that is the bookstore in the library, es la biblioteca donde usted va a prestar libros. So, very good, I can see that you remember uh, some of the preposition and the vocabulary that we, that we studied yesterday. Before to start today's class, I need to know if you have any question about the platform exercises. Do you have any doubt? Any problem? 
And also I want to know if you have already complete section one, section two, and that you are working on section three. Nobody has problem with the platform? No. No, okay, that's excellent then. So remember that you can write on the WhatsApp group if you have any problem. If the teacher can help you, there are some people there that can help you. If not, your classmate can help you too. So don't be afraid, don't be afraid right? Ask, ask, for, ask your question. You can write on the WhatsApp group. Don't forget about that. And remember that it is important that you complete the three section in the midterm during this week. So if you don't have any other question, let's start with tonight's class. In tonight's class, we're going to study uh, the next topic. And the topic is giving direction. How to ask for and how to give direction. So this is the topic for tonight, giving direction. Uh, welcome to your class number seven. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. It's nice to see you this day. So let's see, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give direction. That is what we're going to study tonight. And we are going to start with this. So take a look at this map. Take a look of this map and tell me which places can you see there? Which places can you find in this map, in this city? Parking lot, video store, McDade's, police station, bank, library, grocery store, fire station, drugstore. Okay, thank you, Cristina. All those places that are there in this city, right? So we have video store, MacDap, Cora House, Police Station, Barbie Shop, Beauty Shop, Daycare Center, City Park, City Middle School, City High School, City Elementary School, Bakery, City Clinic, Let's See Coffee House, Fire Station, Drugstore, Bakery, Library, grocery store, bank, and the parking lot. And the name of the street, we have Short Avenue, Long Avenue, Border Avenue, Front Street, and Back Street. So they are important too. So look at this small conversation we are going to complete. Which place is this person looking for? Excuse me, I need to buy some medicine. Can you tell me where the is? And the other person, yes, the is on Short Avenue across from the library between the fire station and the bakery. What is the place this person is looking for? Can you help me to find the place? So it's on Short Avenue across from the library between the fire station and the bakery. What is the place this person is looking for? Is it the drugstore? Is it the fire station? Is it the grocery store? Or is it the bakery? Do you drug have any? The drugstore? It says it's on Shore Avenue. Let's go to Shore Avenue. Is this one? Yes. And then it says uh, it's across from the library. And it's between the fire station and the bakery. So the answer is this. The drugstore is the answer. Drugstore. Very good one. Thank you, Byron. Thank you so much. I need to volunteer to practice this small conversation. Who wants to participate? Who wants? Who wants? Who wants to try? Me. Oh, thank you, Fatima. Fatima and me. Thank you, Juan. Fatima, can you please start? Okay. Excuse me. I need to buy some medicine. 
Can you tell me where the drugstore is? Yes, the drugstore is on Short Avenue across from the library between the fire station and the bakery. Thank you very much. I need two more volunteers. That was great, great job, thank you. I really appreciate your participation. Thank you very much. Me teacher. Thank you, Carla, Carla and... Me teacher. Okay, Byron, thank you. Can you please start, Carla? Yes. Excuse me, I need to buy some medicine. Can you tell me where that drugstore is? Yes, the drugstore is on Short Avenue across from the library between the fire station and the bakery. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Byron. Very good participation. Thanks a lot. So let's go with the next. That was the first one. Let's take a look. Let me help me please to find this other place this person is looking for. Can you please help me? I am looking for the, do you know where it is? Why not? Sure, there is on back strip, just south of the elementary and middle school. So look at this, south. South is a cardinal point. That's why I have this picture here. Can you look at this picture? Cardinal points, right? I have north, east, west, and south. So it's, a, it's on back street, just south of the elementary and middle school. What is the place? What is the place this person is looking for? Is on back street, just south of the elementary and middle school. Barber shop, teacher. Is it the barber shop? Mm. ¿Qué otro lugar podría ser? Back. Is on back strip, just south of elementary and middle school. Al uh -huh. sur de la escuela, the elementary school and the middle school. So this is the place, City High School. Uh -huh. This person is looking for the city high school. I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. Who wants to try? I need to volunteer. Let's practice. Me, if not, teacher. I'm going to choose someone. Uh, can you please tell me your name? Christy. Okay, Christina. thank you, Cristina. And me, Juan Carlos. Thank you, Juan. Can you start, Juan, please? Can you please help me? I'm looking for the city high school. Do you know where is it? Why not? Sure. The city high school is on Back Street, just south of the elementary and middle schools. Okay, thank you so much. So let's go with the next. Then... Is the same map. Can you help me? I am looking for the sure you can find the on back street between the barber shop and the daycare center. What is the place? The police station, courthouse, city high school, or a beauty shop? Beauty shop. Beauty shop. Beauty shop. Let's see if you're right. Yes, you're right. That was an easy one. Can you help me? I am looking for the beauty shop. Sure, you can find the beauty shop on back street between the barber shop and the daycare center. I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try? Me. Who wants to help me? Thank you, Emma and... Me, teacher. Can you please tell me your name? Emma and... Karen, Karen. Okay, Karen, thank you. Can you please start, Emma? Can you help me? I'm looking for the beauty shop. Sure, you can find the beauty shop on Back Street uh, be, between the barber shop and 
the daycare center. Thank you. Thank you very much, Emma and Karen. Almost perfect. Just two words. Uh, how do you pronounce this word, guys? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Fine. And how do you pronounce this other word? Between. 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 Find between. Thank you very much. So I need another two volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carla Me, and, and Alexandra. Me, Thank teacher. you so much. Thank you, and Alexandra. Carla, can you please start? And then Alexandra. Okay. Can you help me? I'm looking for the beauty shop. Sure. You can find the beauty shop on Back Street between the barber shop and the daycare center. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Alexandra. That was perfect. Very good job. Let's go to the next. Could you please help me? My car is missing. What is the they is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Long Avenue and Back Street. What is the place? The police station, courthouse, barbershop, or the city high school? Do you have any idea? So, city high school. The city high school. Probably it could be any other idea. Could you help me, please? My car is missing. Where is the police station? Okay, the police station is the right answer. The police station. Could you please help me? My car is missing. Where is the police station? The police station is on the southwest corner of Long Avenue in Bad Street. Thank you. I need to volunteer to practice in this part. Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Juan Carlos. Thank you, Juan. Juan, and any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Eduardo. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you so much, Eduardo. Okay. Okay. Could you please help me? My car is missing. Where is the police station? The police station is the southwest corner of Long Avenue and Back Street. Okay, that was excellent. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you, Juan. Excellent job. Okay, we are almost to finish this exercise. So look, hi, I have a bad coat. Could you please tell me where the is? Sorry to hear about that. You will find the on the northwest corner of Border Avenue in Front Street. What is the play? Hi, I have a bad coat. Could you please tell me where the is? Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear about that. You will find the on the northwest corner of Border Avenue and Front Street. Is it the city clinic, the bakery, the grocery store, or the city park? City clinic? Yes, you're right. It's the city clinic. Tengo una tos, but bien fuerte. Could you please tell me where the city clinic is? Sorry to hear about that. You will find the city clinic on the northwest corner of Border Avenue and Front Street. Thank you. I need two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Anyone? Nobody wants to participate in that. Help me. Me, teacher. Thank you, Eduardo. Any other person? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Edma. Can you please start, Eduardo? Okay. Hi, I have a bad cone. Could you please 
tell me where the city clinic is? Sorry, to hear about that, you will find the city clinic on the northward corner on the border that we went in from the street. Thank you very much. Almost perfect, guys. Thank you. Now, he leaves this word. How do you pronounce this word? Here. Here. Okay, sorry to hear. Sorry to hear about that. And okay. this other one. Northwest. Northwest. Okay, okay teacher. And this other one. Avenue. Avenue. On the northwest corner of Border Avenue and Front Street. Thank you, Emma. Thank you so much. And I guess this is the last one. Hello, can you tell me where the is? Yes, the is across from the city park and next to the city clinic. What is the play? The city middle school, the bakery, the daycare center, or the grocery store? is across from the city bakery. park and next to the city clinic. Bakery? Uh, yes, you are right. It's the bakery. bakery. Thank you, Eduardo. Bakery, la panaderia. Okay. Do you like sweet bread a lot? Les gusta el pan dulce? Yes. yes, I like yes. candy bread. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it. Oh, okay, nice. Chuponeado en café. So, to volunteer to practice this conversation, who wants to try in this part? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Carmen in. Me, teacher. Thank you, Byron. Can you please start, Hello. Carmen? Hello. Could you tell me where the bakery is? Yes, the bakery is across from the city park and next to the city clinic. Thank you so much. Now, let's see. I have these two questions to ask for a direction. Tengo, puedo utilizar estas dos preguntas para averiguar dónde queda un lugar. So the first one is, how do I get to? Y la segunda opción es, how can I get to? How do I get to? And how can I get to? How do I get to the hospital? How can I get to the train station? How do I get to the gas station? How can I get to the supermarket? So you can use both of them to ask for a direction. Now the answer, how we are going to answer this question. You can use the following phrases to answer this. So walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left, go straight on. We can use these phrases. Walk up. What's the meaning of walk up? Do you have any idea? What does walk up mean? Camin any idea? Caminar. Caminar hacia okay. adelante. Yes, right. Caminar hacia arriba. Okay. Caminar hacia arriba. Well, es como subir, but si la calle es inclinada, se dice suba, walk up. Váyase aquí, suba, walk up. Or you can say go up. Y si la calle es inclinada hacia abajo, you say walk down. Walk down. Es como váyase aquí para abajo. Walk down. And go down. Turn left on. What's the meaning of this phrase? Turn left on. Cruza la de derecha. Eh, perdón, izquierda. Izquierda, yes. Turn left on. Gire a la izquierda. Izquierda, yes. Turn right on. Turn right on. Gire a la derecha. On the right. 
on the left, a la derecha, a la izquierda, and go straight on. Go straight on es váyase recto, siga recto, camine recto. Go straight on. Do you have any question about this vocabulary? Oh, we are going to see this vocabulary right. in the following conversation. So we are going to listen and then we are going to practice. Here is the conversation. So is it far from here? That is the title of this conversation. Is it far from here? So let's listen. Let me know, please, if you can listen. In. Can you listen? Yes, okay, thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going. Okay, now let's see the tourists. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Pitt Avenue to 15, 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. So can you identify some preposition of place in this conversation? Or is some phrases to give direction? Which one can you find in this small conversation? Can you find some preposition of place or some phrases to give direction? Across from, Across behind from. you, turn, you. turn around. Walk up, walk up. Okay, walk, walk up, just walk up, across from, what other one did you say? Uh, behind you, behind. From here. Okay, behind. Turn around. Turn around, yes. And On the, the right. What is it? Is it right across on the right? Mm. On the right. Yes, here is it. On the right. Thank you so much. So, do you have any question about vocabulary in this small conversation? Questions? Building. What's the meaning of building? Edificio. Edificio. Thank you. So let's listen again. We are going to listen again and then we are going to practice. So get prepared to practice. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please. And then we are going to practice. Just give me a second. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going... I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try in this conversation? Anyone Me, teacher. 
Thank you, Fatima. Fatima and me, teacher. Thank you, Blanca. Fatima, can you please start? You are the tourist. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick Cathedral? Yes, well, wake up Far Avenue to 20th Street. Uh, St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And what is the Empire State, is Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It is right when, when you just turn around and then look up. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Melanca. Very good job. Almost perfect. Thank you. You did a great job. So let's see just this number. How do you pronounce this number here? 20th Street. Oh, is it 20th Street or 50th Street? Ah, okay. It's 50th, 50th Street. And how do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce this word? Behind, behind, and look up, look up. Behind and look up. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. Question in this part, do you have any question? If you what is name? Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Rockefeller Center. That is the name of a place in the United States, Rockefeller Center. Es el nombre de un lugar. Oh, that's right. Okay, now look at this. Um, I have here another map. Which places can you see there? Which places can you see? Hospital, mm -hmm. supermarket, restaurant, bank, information office, library, museum, Haverly Park, train station, airport, parking lot, bakery, gas station. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, what is this place? Do you know what is this place? Yeah, well, yeah. Jewelry. 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 Es la joyería, la joyería. So, now, what is the gas station? Can you tell me what is the gas station? Next to the bakery. It's next to the bakery. Thank you. What is the restaurant? Between in the bank and information office. Thank you very much. What is the hospital? The corner, the Queen Street. It's on the corner of Queen Street and Cardiff Road. Thank you. Now let's take a look at this small conversation. Okay, look at this direction. Walk along Oxford Street is next to the Jewelry, opposite the train station. Can you tell me what is the place? So it says walk along, camine sobre la calle que se llama Oxford Street. It's next to the Jewelry, opposite the train station. So we have to go in this here. Here is the Jewelry and the train station. It's opposite the train station. So what is the place? The museum, the park, or the car park? The 
What is it? It's next to the Jewelry, opposite the train station. ¿Cuál lugar ando buscando? Park. Okay, the park. Here is the park. Let's erase this. And let's see the next. So the answer is the, the park. So the park is the right answer. Let's take a look at the following direction. Turn right and then take the first strip on the left. It's on your right next to the hospital. Is it the gas station, the bank, or the supermarket? Supermarket. Is the supermarket? Or you say the supermarket. So let's follow the direction. It says turn right. I am here in this red cross. So I'm walking here and it says turn right. Vaya a la derecha. So take the first strip. Tomamos la primera calle acá. On the left. It's on your right. Next to the hospital. Tomamos la primera calle a la izquierda. It's this one. And then it's on your right. Está en su mano derecha. Next to the hospital. Then this is the place. The supermarket. Thank you. I'm going to read this. And let's see the other one. Go along this street. Walk past the train station. It's on your left opposite the car park. What is the place? The airport, the park, or the bakery? Go along this strip. Walk past the train station. It's on your left opposite the car park. What is the place? Airport. Okay, let's see if it is the airport. We are going to follow the direction. It says go along this street, vaya sobre esta calle, walk past the train station. Vamos a caminar pasando la estación de tren. So it says on your left, opposite the car park. So uh, here we're going to pass the train station. It's on the left opposite the parking lot of the car park. So you are right, Juan, is the airport. Thank you. It's the airport. So do you have any question about this direction? Questions? I need one volunteer to read the first direction. Who wants to try? Any volunteer? Any volunteer to read this direction? Who wants to help me? Hello. Teacher. Thank you, Edma. Read one. Yes, the example number one, please. Walk along Upper Street is next to the of the uh, jewelry. <laughs> jewelry, jewelry. Jewelry, opposite, opposite train. Opposite, 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 opposite the train station. Opposite, opposite, opposite the train the station. train station. Okay, sure. Thank you. Any volunteer to read the second direction? Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Fatima. Turn, turn right and then take the first street on the left. It's on your right next to the hospital. Thank you. That was perfect. Thank you so much. And the last one, who wants to read the last one? Me, teacher. Thank you, Byron. Go along the street. Walk past the train station. It's on your left opposite the car park. 
Thank you so much. That was perfect. I really appreciate your help. Edna, Fatima, and Byron. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's continue. Any volunteer to read this direction, please? Me, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Take the first turning on the Rhine. It's on your ring between the tourist office and the van. Thank you very much. Yes, this word, how do you pronounce this word again? This one. It's on your right. It's on your right. All right. Right. Thank you. Say all right. All right. It's on your right. Between the tourist office and the bank. Thank you. What is the place? Thank you, Karen. I really appreciate your help tonight. What is the place? So we need to follow the direction here to find that place. Restaurant. Is it the restaurant? Then discover that. Take the first turning on the right. So here we go. Turning on the right. It's on your right, está a la derecha, between the tourist office and the bank. So here is, this person is looking for the restaurant. And the other one, any volunteer to read this direction? Go straight, go straight means vaya recto, siga recto. Any volunteer? I need a volunteer to read this direction. Who wants to help me? Me, teacher. Thank you, Blanca. Go straight of the take the second turning of the right it is on the left opposite opposite the hospital. Opposite the hospital. Opposite. Opposite the hospital. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, sure. Go straight on and take the second turning on the right. It's on the left, opposite the hospital. What is the, the place? Station. Gas station. The gas station. Let's discover that. We are going to follow the direction. So let's see. Go straight on and take the second. So this is the first one. No, it's the second then. Go straight. Voy recto. Here is the second one. Eh, take the second strip, the left. turning on the right. Vamos a doblar a la derecha. It's on the left. Está a mano izquierda. Opposite the hospital. So it's the gas station. Yes, you're right. It's the gas station. And the last, the last exercise here is this one. Any volunteer to read the last direction? Just one, please. Me, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Take the first trick on your right. Take the next trick on the left. It's on the right next to the supermarket. What is the place? The gas station, park, or hospital? So let's follow the direction and we're going to discover that. So it says, uh, take the first on the right. This is the first, oh, sorry. And it's this one. Here we go. Take the first on your right. Take the next strip on the left. La siguiente okay. calle a la izquierda. It's on the right next to the supermarket. Here is the supermarket and this is next to the supermarket. So this is the place. Hospital. Do you have any question about this? Is it difficult or easy? What do you think? Is so -so. it so so? so, -so? Uh, teacher. <laughs> okay, we need to learn these phrases. Go straight on. Take the second 
uh, on the left, on the right, and also the preposition of place are important. So you say next to, opposite, in front of, across from. So you have to practice, you have to practice a lot of this. Then you are going to feel easy, right? To give direction. So in your neighborhood, where is the church? Where is the church in your neighborhood? Is it in front of the park? Or in next front of the, the park? Or next to the park? Where is the supermarket in your city? Is it next to the bakery? So if you don't have any other question, let's go with this. These are just some examples here. This is a conversation. And this is good morning. May I ask you for some help? Sure. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? Walk on First Avenue, turn right on Center Street, walk one block. The post office is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue, next to the hospital. So look at this. ¿Cuántos puntos de referencia da esta persona? Yes. So yes. the post office is on the corner of, that no. is one. And next to the hospital. And also, I want you to pay attention to this. Could you, could you tell me how to get to the post office? La pregunta es how to get to the post office. Pero si usted quiere eh, ser más educado, ¿verdad? Porque ah, le pregunta a alguien que usted no conoce, entonces usted le agregamos esto. Could you tell me? Y usted va a sonar mucho más educado. Could you tell me? Could Podría you usted tell me? decirme? Could you tell me how to get to the post office? So esta es uh, para hacerlo bien educado, bien formal. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? So I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice? I need to volunteer. Nobody wants to practice. Okay, let me just teacher. Okay, Blanca and any other volunteer? Blanca and Etma. Blanca and Etma. Teacher. Okay. Can you please start, Blanca? Good morning. May I ask you for some help? Sure. Could you tell me out? Sorry. Can you tell me how to head to the post office? Walk on First Avenue to ride on Center Street. Walk on one block, the post office is in the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue next to the hospital. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very good job. Let's go with the second example here. I can find Al's coffee shop. Is it near here? No, it isn't. You are part of that place. This person is here. Esta persona está acá. In La Cruz Roja, in the Red Cross. So it, he's looking for Al's coffee shop. And Al's coffee shop is here. In the other corner of the city. So no, it isn't. You are part of that place. How can I get there? Go straight on Center Street. Turn right up the Second Avenue. Go until you reach Main Street. You will see favorite shoes shop. Al's Coffee Shop is next to Favorite Shoes Shop. Thank you. So, le dijo cómo llegar desde la gas station hasta Al's Coffee Shop. So, let's see if we can follow this direction. So, it says, 
go straight on center strip. This is center strip, so we have to go straight. And it says, turn right at Second Avenue. Giramos a la derecha on Second Avenue. Go until you reach Main Strip. Ya llegué a la Main Strip. Here is the Main Strip. You will see favorite shoes. Now I can see favorite shoes. Shop and Al's Coffee Shop is next to favorite shoes. Shoes shop, favorite shoes shop. So here is the place. I need to volunteer to practice in this last conversation for tonight. Who went? Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karen, and any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Let me see. Uh, Fatima, can you please help me? And then Byron. Después Byron okay. in another class. Okay, Karen and Fatima. Okay. Um, I can find a coffee shop. Is it near here? No, it isn't. You're far of that place. How can I get there? Go straight on Center Street, turn right at Second Avenue, go on until you reach Main Street. You will see favorite shoes, favorite shoes shop. A coffee shop is next next to favorite shoes shop. Thank you. That was an excellent job. Thank you. So just these two work. Uh, how do you pronounce this word? Who wants to help me to pronounce this? Find. Find, thank you. And how do you pronounce this phrase? How can I get there? How can I get there? How can I get there? And don't forget about this other one. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? How can I get there? ¿Cómo puedo llegar? And do you have any question? No question. Now, imagine that you are here. You are in this place, in this blue point, and you want to go to the hospital. ¿Qué direcciones me daría para llegar hasta este lugar? Who wants to help me? Go is is wow. Avenue. It's right, right on Sixth Avenue. Okay, go is right on First Avenue. Yes. To right at Center Street. Turn right at Center Street. Um turn left um, hospital turn on left and there is the hospital thank you yes you are right now i am here in the red point in this red point and i want to get to the supermarket p and j supermarket i want to go to the supermarket how can i get there could you tell me how to get to the supermarket, please? Tell me, guys, could you tell me how to get to the supermarket? And which phrases I need Always to use? try on the mainstream. Go try on Main Street. Help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> help me, please. I'm lost. I need help. How can I get there? On cent um, Center Street? Go straight ah, on okay. Center Street. Go straight on Center Street. 
Ah, uh, here I go. Done. And now. Sigo recto. How do you say gire a la derecha? What is Turn the right turn or of the left of the of right? Turn turn, uh, turn turn right on Second Avenue. Right on Second Avenue. Llegamos. <laughs> okay, give me another uh, direction. Help me. Um turn on left. Okay, turn left. Yes. Um, and you can say favorite shoes. across from the favorite shoes across from favorite shoes or you can say it's next to Davis Drugstore Davis Drugstore okay. don't forget about the preposition of place okay do you have any question about tonight's class I'm going to share with you the presentation right, for you to study these phrases do you want the presentation? Do you want this PowerPoint presentation? If you want, I'm going to share with you in the WhatsApp group. So tomorrow we are going to talk about this midterm exam. We are going to have a review of the first three sections that we have already studied. And we are going to talk about this midterm exam. That's for tomorrow. Questions? Do you have any question? No. No teacher. Okay. No teacher. Um, don't forget, please, about the exercises on the platform. Section one, section two, and section three. King lleva por la sección número tres. Section three. King lleva por esa sección. Iniciada de las tres. Mi teacher. Iniciada, teacher. Iniciando. Ok, that's perfect. Terminada, teacher. I am finished. I am finished. Ok, Claudia said, me, teacher. She has already finished section three. Ok, Byron, congratulations. You have already finished section number three. Then, if you can take the meter tomorrow, do it. Si mañana antes de la clase puede hacer el midterm, it is going to be really good. So if you don't have any other question, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. So I want to say thank you to Fatima, Carla, Juan, Byron, Eduardo, Blanca, Carmen, Edma, eh, Alexandra too. You have a lot of participation tonight. Thank you so much. And the rest of the class, I invite you to participate during the exercise. It is going to be good for you. So thank you very much. Uh, good night and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.